What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome on back to the Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. In the last part, we made our way through the Ilex Forest after defeating our rival, and then headed through Route 34, battling some trainers here and there. And now it's time to reach the biggest city in Johto, and that is Goldenrod City. If my run button would work, oh my gosh, I guess my run button just does not want to work today. That is perfect. Okay, so Goldenrod City, as I said, is the biggest city, and first off, I'm going to heal up. I haven't done that since the last video, and there's a lot of things for you to do here. You've got the gym, but there's also a ton of other buildings that you can check out. There's even some trainers that aren't in the gym that you can still battle, so we're going to be checking it all out in today's video, and I'm kind of just going to go in a random order, so sort of bear with me. The first thing I'm going to do is head over to this little secluded area of Goldenrod City and come down to the bike shop. Now, real quickly, just out front of the shop, there's a hidden super potion somewhere in this little area. I don't know if it's in the little lamp post here. I'm not too sure. Hey, there it is. But yeah, that's just chilling right there if you want it. But obviously, you're probably going to want the bicycle more. Now, this is actually the same guy from the Kanto region. However, he got put in a pretty bad spot. You know, this house is kind of sitting behind the department store and stuff. So he offers a bicycle to us as long as we give our phone number to him because basically we're going to be advertising the bicycle for him. So we'll be able to ride around and hopefully by doing that, more people will see the bike and want to come to the shop and get it. And eventually he will uh, call you again after you've ridden it enough and he'll be like, Hey, thanks for writing it so much. Now everyone's coming by my shop and, you know, everyone lives happily ever after. Yay. All right. So, oh my gosh, I hate. No, I didn't mean to go in that house. Yeah, this house I don't think has anything for us, but I hate how my run button just does not work sometimes. Okay, so the next stop is going to be the radio tower and you do have to come here because the gym leader is actually in here. Right here is uh, Whitney over here. At the end of the desk now real quickly this is like the pokemon lottery corner you know if any of your pokemon's id numbers match the daily id then you get an item and oh wait we actually got something okay the last digit match so we get an ultra ball i think that's like i don't know one of the lower ones that you can get or that might actually be a decent one i'm not too sure anyways as i was saying right here is whitney and in order to get her to go back to the gym, you're going to need to complete this little quiz. And by completing this quiz, you'll get the blue card, which will allow you to listen to different radio stations and music here in the Johto region. So first answer is yes. Can you check the town map with the Poke Gear? Nidorino can only be female. That is a true. Third question, Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots. No, he does not. It is actually apricorns. Come on, we know that. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp, that is true. And the last one, you might not know, because it's uh, Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Mary? I'm pretty sure it's no, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I can always just never remember that last one. But now we can listen to the radio, and Whitney's like, oh my gosh, how did you get it? And she thought, you know, Kurt uses apricots, because she's an idiot. And now she will head on back to the gym. So, yeah, there we go. Now, I believe just to the right of, yeah, the radio tower is the Johto Kanto Magnet Train Station. You won't be able to do anything with this right now. There's actually an item you'll get in the post game that will allow you to use that little train station to go from Goldenrod City to, um, what's it called? I'm already forgetting the name. Saffron City. There you go. In the Kanto region. Anyways, real quickly. Here is the game corner, and there's a guy named Mr. Game. He's kind of the, you know, guy standing out here in the middle, and he will give you a coin case as long as you say yes. Now, unfortunately, from here on out, the uh, games in each game's... The, okay, this is confusing. The games that you play in, you know, each Pokemon game's game corners, they're not as good as they used to be. They're not like the slot machines because... Game Freak thought that was too, you know, PG-13. So, for example, in this game, they have Voltorb Flip now, which is nowhere near as good, but you can still grind out for coins and all that stuff. Anyways, what I'm also going to do is check out the department store. Oh my gosh, can I run, please? Thank you. Now, I don't know if there's 
too many things for us to do. We're actually going to check out the basement first, though. That's right. There's a basement to this place, and it has a couple of items for us to grab. There's also another area that it connects to that we won't be able to access until way later on when we're dealing with Team Rocket over here. But yeah, basically, there are these uh, kind of guys with their machokes, and if you talk to them, they'll get their machoke to move out of the way, and they will... Um, let me just hold on, make sure that there's no hidden item in this box. I don't think there's one in this box. But yeah, they'll get their Machoke to move out of the way, and you'll be able to grab some items. And there is the hidden Super Potion that I was just looking for. And then this guy over here, you're going to have to wait for him to face, you know, both of the Pokemon. So um, I can't get him to move that box just yet. Let's see if he's faced the other way now that I got the ether. Here we go. So now we can talk to him, and that Machoke will move. And I think there's a hidden item in one of these sides of this box. Maybe there it is, a paralyzed heal. I knew it. And then right back here is a burn heal, I believe. And I know there is an antidote. I think it's in one of the smaller little boxes on the side here. Probably one of these things. Yep, there it is. And just to the right down that little hallway right here is the area that I was talking about. There's just a locked door. You can't really do much right there. Anyways, I don't think there's too much for us to do here in the um, in the department store. There's just a couple of things for us to check out. On one of these floors, there's a trade that you can do. And I mentioned it in the last episode. If you caught an Abra, you can get a Machop. And Machop could be very useful for the upcoming gym, considering it is a normal type gym. And remember, it will gain a boosted experience. Now, I know there is also um, something on the rooftop, so I guess I am, if I can enter the elevator, thank you, I guess I'm going to go up there. Not actually the roof, just like the last floor, the penthouse, if you want to call it. Actually, it may be the roof. Hold on, let me see. I can't remember if this department store has a roof or not. It says rooftop atrium, so I guess not. Yeah, we're still indoors, but this is the uh, drawing corner, I'm pretty sure, and you can pay money and you can draw a bunch of cool prizes. And if you get the uh, best prize, it'll be a TM. Now the TM varies depending on the day you're playing. Other than that though, it's like a Pokeball if you get the second best prize or the third best prize is just a um, berry. And I love their response right there, how they just said, oh my. Like they were so stunned that I uh, said no. And right here is the vending machines where you can get like lemonades, fresh water, soda pops, Pretty nice healing items, but I decided not to do it just because I'm honestly kind of low on money right now, so I don't want to spend 300 bucks to probably get like a berry or something like that. And right now, I'm trying to find the person that um, gives you the trade. I can't really find them right now unless I just skipped over them. Let's see. Well, you're talking about traded Pokemon. I may have skipped them, but just know that somewhere... In this building, there's someone that will trade you a Machop for an Abra, and, okay, is it this guy? No, you're just talking about X items. I guess the people will kind of talk about the, uh, whatever item is on that certain floor, and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and head out. Again, there is a, um, little trade you can do in there if you want. Anyways, we are just about done exploring the, you know, ground level area of, Goldenrod City. Right here's the name raider in this little tent, so if you want to change a nickname, you can do that. Now, the gym is opened up since we got Whitney to go back to the radio, or sorry, to go from the radio tower back to the gym. However, we're not going to do that until the next episode. And right here's the Goldenrod Flower Shop. You can't do anything right now, but keep that place in mind for when you defeat the gym. So, now it is time to head on to the left side, and over here is, uh, what even is this again? Is this the GTS? Yeah, Global Terminal, that's where you can do a bunch of online stuff. I don't even have access to all that though, so I'm not going to spend too much time there. Now, this house right here, even though it doesn't look very fancy, it is important. You can't do anything in there right now, but you'll be able to see Bill a little later on and get a free Eevee in that building, so that's pretty nice. Now, we have entered the underground tunnel or goldenrod tunnel i guess you can call it and lyra's here she's actually going to give us the fashion case something that i don't really care about but yeah apparently down in the tunnel there's a dress-up shop kind of a random spot for a dress-up shop to be if you ask me 
but it's there and you know that's where you can use the fashion case give your pokemon some props and stuff and professor elm is still calling me about that togepi i'll get back to you in a bit my boy Anyways, it's time to take on some trainers. That's right. We've got some trainers to battle down here in the Goldenrod Tunnel. Now, I talked about facing Team Rocket here in Goldenrod City later on a second ago, and you will also come down here to fight them later. For now, it's just some super nerds and like Pokemaniacs down here. I feel like these are where the weird people of Goldenrod City hang out. But it is kind of nice because you get a bit of extra training before taking on the gym. And you're probably going to want to take all the experience you can get. Because as I'm sure you all know, this gym can be pretty tough. Probably the toughest one up to this point. I wouldn't be surprised if I lost over and over in this gym. But I really hope I don't because I just haven't had a gym yet where I've won on the first try. But we are going to try and do that here. Luckily, it looks like we'll be getting a skip loom in today's episode. That's kind of the goal that I set for myself. So I am going to try and do that. Now, also, there is a nice shop here. There's actually a bunch of shops along with the dress up shop. One of them is the bargain shop, and it's only open from 4 a.m. to 9.59 a.m. on Mondays. But it basically sells you a bunch of, you know, nuggets and pearls and star pieces like all the high priced items that you can sell for a lot of money, but it sells them for like a lot less than they sell for. So you can make a lot of money there by just buying those items and then reselling them. And, um, you know, it is a uh, pretty smart way to earn some money. There's also a Pokemon salon down here. You can pay a lady to give your Pokemon haircuts and that will boost their happiness. I don't have anyone that, you know, evolves through happiness or has returned so i'm not going to use my money on that just yet and there's also an herb shop that's where you can get like energy roots revival herbs kind of the healing items that cost a lot less than revives and stuff however they will lower your pokemon's happiness not by too much though it's really nothing too crazy and oh gosh we are confused we did have some pretty good confusion luck in yesterday's video hopefully that can continue so yeah we will uh we will see. Anyways, you're already down to the yellow health. Of course, I got paralyzed, though. And you know Cut? All right. I guess this guy somehow got his hands on HMO1 Cut 2. That's freaking crazy, boy. What the heck? All right. One more turn will do the trick. I'm kind of scared, though. I feel like if we hit ourselves, we're going to die. Actually, okay. Well, we snapped out. No! <laughs> All right. Will this take you out, though? Okay, good. I was about to say. Hip, uh, I was about to say hip hop. Hop hip, if you, if you just sold that battle, I would be so mad. Because look at that, you leveled up and now you're going to become a skip loom. Yay, our second evolution here in this series. And the cool thing about it is, yeah, we get skip loom, but in only 10 levels, we'll get jump luff and this thing will be fully evolved. Now, oh, I did not just, I did not just hit B. You've got to be kidding. Oh, I just hit B by accident. I think that is not the first time I've done that. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We still have two more trainers left. I think we can still get Skip Bloom, I hope. <laughs> How did I do that? I was trying to like spam A and B, but I just totally forgot that B would completely cancel the evolution. Yeah, good on me. Anyways, right there's the dress up shop and back through that doorway, you can like, I think see a bunch of the pictures you take. I think that's what that room is for. I don't even know if I've ever been back there, but whatever. I'm assuming that's what it's for. Anyways, right here, this guy, of course, has some Magnemites and stuff. Yay, things that resist. Freaking Hopip. Gosh, dude, I, I can't believe I did that. We should have a Skip Loom right now, but no, I'm a freaking idiot. All right, it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna get a Skip Loom still. We'll get you to level 19. Don't worry, Hopip. I promise. We're going to get you to level 19. Another Magnemite, though. That's not too good. I guess I can just switch train a little bit. We still have one more guy to fight after this. And then that will be it for this episode. Then tomorrow we'll take on the gym. And that's going to be three gym badges and 11 videos, which is, you know, pretty good progress. I guess at that rate, we'd have eight gym badges by, what, 33 videos? No, wait. That's not how it works out. Hold on. I can't do math. I mean, we get th we'd get six by twenty-two, and then roughly around like episode 
29 or something, 30, somewhere around there. I don't want to do math right now. I actually did have a math test today, and let's just say it went okay. Not the best, but, like, not the worst either. So, you know, I'm, like, I'm feeling meh about it, I guess. And luckily, this dude sent out some bolt orbs now, so I'm going to go for a bullet seed. Probably not going to do that much damage. Bullet seed is so weak. I haven't looked at Skip Bloom's moveset. Also, I really hope I'm not, like, you know, leaving out a move by accidentally hitting B. Like, I don't think Skip Bloom would learn a level, or sorry, learn a move right at level 18. But if it did, that's kind of bad. And actually, I'm so scared that I'm going to go ahead and check it right now. While Bullet Seed hopefully hits like three times, that would be great. Or just twice and take it out. Sweet. I will take that. All right, let's see Skip Bloom. Please tell me you do not get something right at that level anyways here's a magnemite i'm gonna switch out to gatorade again so here we go level up moves generation four shout out to pokemon db probably my go-to source okay yeah it learns bullet seed by level up at level 20 are you kidding me i guess i could have saved that tm but it's really not worth it but then at 24 we get leech seed and 28 mega drain so leech seed will actually be very useful i cannot wait to get my hands on that as we defeat the super nerd and it's time to take on the last trainer here and then those stairs just lead you to the north side of goldenrod city right next to the name raider they don't take you like you know to another super secret area or anything like that and luckily this guy has some slow pokes so perfect for hop it to take down and then i will be sure to not press a b i can't believe i did that but you know, somehow I did because I'm kind of an idiot like that. But it's okay. Um, hopefully we can get some good turns with Bola Seed. There we go, a critical hit. Let's go, Hopib. I'm feeling better about this gym. You know, now that we're going to have a Skip Loom. And I guess Spinarak has some more levels. But once again, I think Croconaw will be our main team member. Speaking of Spinarak, I might as well send him out here. I feel like he has not gotten any action in this episode. Which I don't think he has. So... Here we go, Charlotte. You do have Leech Life, which is actually super effective. Honestly, though, Nightshade might still do more just because, I mean, I've got Leech Life and Poison Sting. Actually, no, that did a solid chunk of damage. Sweet. Ooh, but Growl. Just going to stall out this battle even longer. I'll probably try to get a few more healing items in between these next two videos because I think we're going to need it for the Whitney fight. And I'm not too worried about the uh, Clefairy because really who worries about that Clefairy? It usually just goes for like Metronome or something. It's just the freaking Mill Tank, dude. And I've got two Pokemon that are weak to rollout. So I really cannot let that thing start using rollouts. So luckily I do have Stun Spore on Skip Loom, which is uh, very nice. But here we go. Let's not hit B. My hands are coming off of the keyboard. And we are now getting Skip Loom. I think I literally hit B at the last second too. Like it was almost about to evolve. And there we go. So yeah, it's now green. Yay! And then Jump Bluff will be like blue. I mean, this whole evolution line goes through the freaking rainbow, apparently. But yeah, so that's cool. We get a boost in stats. No new moves, of course. But that is uh, fine with me. I'm happy that we got the Skip Loom. Spinarak's only like five levels, uh, five levels away from evolving, which is cool. And we are zero minutes away from ending today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time we're taking on the gym. For now, though, have a great rest of your day. And until then, deuces.